Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, death. the most venomous snake in the world is the one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Okay. Yes. It is your time, huh? Watch the pupil. Pupil dilates, then it undilates. There's the target. Oh, slam. Now again, people have asked me, and I'll repeat myself, uh, since I do that a lot with you, with uh, my Viper Keeper uh, films. Uh, the reason why the gaboons raise their prey off, off the floor is so that their feet... Uh, doesn't hit the ground and give them a hard time uh, you know give the prey item something some leverage to try to escape on and it buys the the 10 or 20 seconds 30 seconds that's required for the gaboon vipers venom uh, to actually uh, uh, do the do its deed so that's what it's all about and will not make her nervous and let her feed and shut the door hi okay there you He's a little bit tired of getting bitten. That's my rat. You leave it alone, bitch. Wow, that's surprising. That was less than spectacular. <laughs> uh, stop that. Uh, you are so insane. You guys definitely have a have a complex. Thank you. 
He's got a mouse in his mouth and is like flailing himself around the cage just because he didn't have enough action. There you go. Now are you sane, huh? Or are you insane like the rest of them? Okay. You look, oh, no. He's gone insane. He, here he is. I didn't get a chance to bite you. I didn't get a chance to bite you. Now, by the time you get to this end of the work, uh, these guys are already, already totally worked up, ready to have a go at me. Good job. Hey, well that's not very nice. Here, all I want to do is pick that little bit of shedding that didn't come off off your back. You're not going to let me do that, are you? These things are on meth. They really are. They're the fastest little cobras I think I've ever seen. They make the king look like he's on Prozac. There we go. Oh, excuse me. Get your little noodle down in there. Go on. Eat your mouse. Oh, good. Well, eat it. Just eat it. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, well, there you go. Hey, stop. Did I attack you? No, I broke your food, so stop it. Yeah, that's just a hook. That's just a hook. Get down there and eat your mouth. Forget it. That's just your buddies. It's your brethren. Stop. Hey. Eat your mouth. I'm going to have to get nasty with you. Get down. Get your head stuck in your little toe. All right. These guys are totally, totally berserk now. <coughs> now, Mr. Pig doesn't like big food. Mr. Pig likes... Uh, uh, Fuzzy is not so big stuff, otherwise he regurges it. Hi, Mr. Pig. You want that? Here he goes. Oh, you missed. There, that's better. Hi, Piggy. How you doing? Isn't, isn't that pig cute? I don't know if you guys can see it on the GoPro cam, but I know... Uh, my lovely wife is, uh, is getting some nice video from the top. Okay, I'm going to let you eat. Is that all right? There you go. Okay. Oh, the red spot's ready to go. There you go. Sorry, I didn't mean to stuff that up your snail. You want that? Yes, no, maybe? What's up, bud? Huh? Oh, there you go. There you go. You want to hold it? There you go. Good job. <laughs> okay. Now, here's a beautiful snake. And, unfortunately, you don't see him. But rarely, this is the first one that I've ever seen. This is a snouted night adder, genus Cassis. They look like little hognose snakes and basically have the same disposition except they're, they're vipers, even though they look like uh, colubrids. Oh, sorry. Are you going to eat it? Huh? You want to eat that? Oh, oh, what a big mouth we got. It's getting away. It's getting away. Oh, you killed it. How dare you kill the mouse leg? Now, I did have him in a cage of his own uh, so people could see and ap appreciate him. But when I put him in his own cage, he stopped feeding for literally months. 
So he was losing weight and not eating, so I put him back in here and he immediately started to feed. So when people say, oh, the, the snake, poor snakes, they're in such a small bin. Well, that's what they prefer to be in. They like small, dark places uh, like most uh, snakes. With that faint fish odor, right? You got it. Good job. All right, we won't disturb you while you eat. Okay. Easy. There's no reason to strike. It's right there on your nose. All you have to do is open your mouth an inch forward. Okay. Well, what'd you do that for? You missed it by about two feet. Here, open your mouth. There you go. You guys, you know, have lip service from me. I put it right on your lips. I know, these are very small meals for gaboons. Hi, how you doing? But I don't want them growing to four feet quickly. So I give them... Food. Man. Hi, how you doing? What are you guys doing over here? Huh? Well, what kind of action is that? Huh? Don't spit on it, eat it. You're using your attack part of your brain and not your food part. There you go. You manage to, you know, people ask why I don't put water dishes in there. I put a water dish in there last night, and already he's managed to flip it over. So what happens when you're nice to these things? They just... Ugh, make a mess. Hello? Well, at least you didn't knock your water over. Let's see if you're more intelligent than your brother or sister over there. Oh, you are! Okay. You have to be a boy. No, you're a girl. I'm surprised. Okay, so... You can't let Twitchy go without something. Here, Twitchy. 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 Oh, look at that! Look at that! Ooh, I'm going to bite myself. Oh, there we go. Thank you, thing. She just gobbles those down. <laughs> yeah, they're like, uh, they're like cocktail franks. Hey, what do you want? Why, who's thunk thunking back here? Oh. Oh, I think it's one of the... Gaboons. Gaboons, yeah. Yeah, he feels shortchanged. Yeah. And you know me, I put off a big heat signature, so it's easy for them to lock on my hands from a distance because I really have hot hands, as Mrs. Viper Keeper can tell you. Mm -hmm. Very true. Okay, we're not really getting a good response from you. I see you reaching over. See, that's why it's very important to control that jawbone if you control that jawbone, you control the snake. If you lose control of the jawbone and it's a little viperid like this, they own you. Right? Huh? Hey, that was your own butt. Oh, you got a poo, don't you?
HAC doing? Mr. Brand is doing the um, climbing on the ceiling trick. Now, did you eat that? Well, my, that was very good. Oh, and look, you're like, hey, how come he got something to eat? Because you still got parts of a gecko in you, and he doesn't eat that often. That's good. That's so. Uh, much better to assist feed them, get them started, than to have to shove it all the way down their throat. How are you, dirty one? Huh? Look at you. <laughs> and you just look so mean because you know what's coming. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Uncle Bob is going to try to get some, some frogs. your head in one place. Not over that place. The little coral culprit says nom 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 to the gecko tails, huh? That's a nice treat for you, huh? You're you're just going into shed. Huh? Is that tasty? Yeah. That's something different for you, huh? See folks, I like to when possible uh give the animals a variety of food, just like they get a variety in nature. They're just not, you know, for the most part. Uh, eat one thing uh, all the time. Let me get another gecko tail. Here you go. Here's another. There you go. Hey, ah, that wasn't very good. Here. There you go. Nom nom nom. Huh? She's such a good little eater. And I don't like to waste anything. These are these are surplus gecko tails that I've pulled off because otherwise they're too long for the uh, the baby snakes and they have like uh, the geckos in their stomach and their tail is sticking out their mouth and uh, it makes uh, for an unhappy uh, snake. Here, want another? Oh, you're going to try it from that end first, huh? Oh, okay. Well, that's okay. This is a... Uh, a Spitalaps uh, Calwasi, another uh, one of the coral culbras. Uh, this was hatched out by Bob uh, a few years ago, and it wasn't feeding, and Bob uh, said, here, you work with it, and uh, I got it feeding, and uh, uh, it's been growing and growing ever since, and... Uh, And so I just uh, keep it around. I'm not interested in breeding them, but it's a cool little snake. You guys don't see it very often. Yeah, I know. Substrate mouth, huh? That's yucky. Well, you have a full water bowl there. Here you go. Come on. Here you go. You got a full water bowl so you can uh, uh, rinse out your mouth when you're done. Here you go. Oh, we're under the, under the leaf. And no, folks, this is not marijuana leaves. Okay. Here's Mr. Pig. 
very nice male Hyde County uh, Carolina Pygmy Rattlesnake. Has a very good uh, appetite and a relatively uh, good attitude because he's male. Uh, he's going to be going off uh, on exhibit uh, to complete uh, a North American exhibit at uh, my favorite zoo, the Catoctin Zoo, uh, where they have you know uh, a couple different uh, species of, of pygmy, uh, uh, but no uh, no red pigs. So I'm going to put him out on loan and uh, I can certainly use the cage space and uh, uh, but these guys, good thing they're not the size of Eastern Diamondbacks because these guys got a real potent venom guaranteed to ruin your day. Right bud? Huh? What are you doing? He's mostly on the uh, cool side of the cage. Uh, this side is the hot spot uh, where it gets uh, heat from the light. Uh, from the mamba cage below.